All right, guys, so this week we are learning about the coach whip snake. And the reason we're learning about it is because what happened to us this weekend? We caught one. We caught yeah. one. What color was it? Pink. It pink. was pink <laughs> and it was beautiful. Um, before we tell you about the coach whip, we like to share kind of some of the folklore and some of um, the myths that come with these animals. And um, I wanted to tell you guys about one Look, that I thought was yeah. just crazy. So here's the thing. People <laughs> believed, um, so you guys know, you guys know that coach whips are super long, right? They can get between seven and nine feet long and they're really long, they're really slender and they're super fast. And people believed that these snakes, Briar, do you want to be my model? Come here. No. That, okay, you want to be yours? Okay, you got to scoot back because you have to get in the camera. Get down on your, on your knees, squat down. Oh, that'll work, that'll work. All right, so people believed that they would grab them up and constrict them really tight and then they would take their whip-like tails and then they would <laughs> basically whip people to death. And then it gets even crazier. To check to make sure that their victims are dead, they would take their long skinny nose and, or long skinny tail and stick it up their nose and check to see if they're breathing. And if they were still breathing, they would whip them all over again. All right, Brian, move, baby. <laughs> and so that's crazy. Here's the second crazy thing is some people believe that coach whips would take their mouths and bite their tails and start rolling and that's how they would catch their prey and they'd be so fast they'd roll across the land and catch mice as they go it's completely absurd but it's equally awesome so those are our folklore tales about the coach whip now we're going to tell you some things that are actually true about these animals all right well this here is a western coach whip it's uh one of the more common snakes in this region really that's kind of from coast to coast in the united states but um, this particular subspecies is out in the western part of the country and um, what we really like about him is his reddish or pinkish color. There's not a whole lot of them like this unless if you're in this part of the country you do see some. Um, they range mainly colors of brown and tan and sometimes green. Um, they call it a coach whip because the tail looks very much like an old whip that you would use on stagecoaches and such. And it's got a very long tail. You can see where the vent is here. It's got quite a bit of distance from that to its tail. And coach whips are one of the fastest snakes that we've got. Um, they can go real quick bursts, but sustained for like four miles an hour. They get pretty long, up to around nine feet for adults. Um, they're great um, snakes on the ground speed wise, but they're also really fast through the trees because we actually caught this one going through all the juniper trees like what's behind us here. It just go from tree to tree super fast and we're looking where's the pink in the tree. So it's kind of cool to chase him down. He started off on a road immediately went up in the trees. So they're um, that's probably their best way of evading predators. Predators for these guys would be coyotes, uh, birds of prey like raptors, maybe roadrunners when they're smaller. Um, you know, bobcats, uh, those are all predate on this guy. Um, but with their agility, they're able to outrun some things, I'm sure, and, and get up in trees and kind of evade predators that way. And plus, um, in the regions that they come in, you know, their, their coloration really helps blend in camouflage in their environment. They have great big eyes, which you can see, hopefully, looking right at you. Um, for their size skull, that's pretty good size eye sockets. And um, they have incredible vision, very good vision, but they're diurnal. They're not uh, a nocturnal species. So you'd think with such big eyes, that they would be good at night, but they, they do all their hunting during the day. They eat uh, mainly rodents and lizards, birds, because they, they're good, uh, probably raid nests and get eggs too, I imagine. Um, but um, they're a pretty cool snake. Sometimes you see them with their head raised way high up and, and and perching out kind of like a cobra almost stance uh, just looking around in their environment which makes them pretty cool how they can uh, just kind of scope out their environment you know down in the grass you see this head just popping up which uh, we all kind of think it's a pretty cute face too <laughs> so but anyways we're going to we just re caught it a few a few hours ago and we're gonna go ahead and release it here so and uh, it's not a constrictor it just eats its prey alive it puts its things puts its mouth on the prey and then swallows it whole. And since we caught him in the tree, I think it'll be fun to release him back in the tree.
So he's already climbed to about 10 feet high in that tree.